Uh, I started when I was eight years old. Uh, my parents initially played and we had a table at home. So I just picked up a bat and went from there. Uh, well, initially my parents had played for a long time um, and they really wanted me to play a sport. Um, so I also played tennis at the time and then I just coached Joe's table tennis. So. That would have been in 2006. Uh, it was actually in Australia, down in Geelong, the Oceania Championships. I use on both forehand and backhand at Tenergy 05, and for the blade I use Timo Bowl ALC straight handle. Um, I mean, I've had a few over the years. I think in recent years I'd have to say Robert Frank. Uh, we've had many great, great matches together, and we continue to be friends off the court. So it's. Um, I'm sure we'll have some, some good matches to come as well. Yes, that's right. For the last uh, 12 months I've been in Poland, southeastern Poland, where I've been playing for a club. Um, I've decided 12 months ago to pack up here, go over and um, really get some experience before the uh, Olympic trials. Um, so it's been a fantastic experience and I've played um, you know, full time for the past eight months. Um, I'm actually going back there this evening um, for another three months just to finish off my season. Yeah, um, I played a pretty successful Australian Olympic qualifying tournament uh, where I finished in third position behind William Hensel and Robert Frank. Um, then going into the Oceania Olympic qualifying, um, I didn't play as, as well as I liked, um, so just missing out on that team spot. But, uh, so I've got to wait another four years, but I've just got to put my head down and, and work really hard and hopefully I'll be there in four years time. Um, there are a few problems uh, in the beginning. Um, the standard thing is to go get your bat voluntary racket tested before you commence your tournament. And we did that and we found that the rackets were testing well over what they should be. Um, and most players were, I think about 40% of the bats were testing well over the three PPM limit. Um, so, in the end, they actually changed the filters um, with the machines, with the little mini ray machines, and then it seemed to be working a lot better, and nearly every bat um, was fine then. Um, but what's to say that the new filters were any better than the other ones? Um, there was no real test to uh, calibrate the machines. Um, so, I mean, as a player, um, it was a little bit tense for us to go get our rackets tested and, and see it was well over the limit. Uh, it's Olympic trials. People have worked their whole life for it and you know some little machine is, um, is dictating whether you're allowed to play or not. Um, but in the end, yeah, once the filters were changed, most bats were uh, tested fine and the tournament went on. In 2011, at the World University Games, I played Zhu Xin from China. Uh, at the time, I think he was seven, world ranked seven in the world. I think he may be as high as four or five now, though. My greatest achievement? In terms of achievement, I think I see playing for the last 12 years um, and training overseas and representing Australia um, is as an achievement in itself. Uh, however, as results wise, I'd probably say winning the Australian Juniors a couple of times and Oceania Juniors a few times too. Uh, I think 
not to underestimate uh, the work that needs to be done to become a good senior player. Um, a lot of the juniors, I think, they can train two or three times a week and they're going to end up really good players. Maybe that's true if you have some talent, but um, if you really want to be a successful international player, then you really need to put a lot of work in for many years. My last meal. Uh, it would have to be definitely something from mum's kitchen. I'd have to say a roast.